Chinna, I'm Lovely Nilbart and welcome to the channel and another video. First timer, then you should go and subscribe to it. Today I'm excited to share with you a little game changing technique that I've been using recently to make my sunset and sunny photos pop a little bit. I've been experimenting with this technique in Lightroom and the result has been absolutely stunning. So let's dive into it. Before we're jumping into the technique I've been meaning to show you, let's talk about the importance of capturing the right mode in your sunset or sunny photos. These types of shots are all about warmth, color, vibrance, and to create a captivating atmosphere. So keep that in mind when you're shooting. So let's start with some basic adjustments. Um, find a nice preset that uh, enhance the overall, overall look to the photo. Don't be afraid to experiment and find the right balance. I, I have a preset here that I think fits a very sunny and summer photo perfect. It's called Summer Dream. So when that's all done, go to mask settings, go to radial gradient, and you want to pull it over the sun or where the sun comes from. So just put it up here. You can make it kind of big. Like maybe that, that's perfect. I already have a preset for this called sun flare. And what we're going to do is that it's going to make the sun a little bit more obvious. So this is how it's gonna look. Obviously it looks super bad at the moment, but you can play around like moving moving the, the gradient around a little bit uh, to find a perfect spot. And what I like to do is that if you have a photo that's very warm, you can play around with the tint. It's all these settings. I'm gonna post the settings. You will see how they look. That doesn't mean it will fit every photo and you need to play around with them. What I like to do, if the photo is a little bit warmer, you can take the tint and just move it to wherever place it looks best. Uh, this photo is a little bit warmer, so I'm gonna make, uh, make the mask a little bit warmer. Keep in mind, this technique won't work for every photo and make sure to use it right. I like to use it when the sun is in the frame, like in this photo, you can see the sun like behind the tree there. You don't want it to be too obvious, so what you can do is that you go to amount and you just pull it down just a little bit, maybe 30 is good. There you go. You don't want it to be too obvious because then it doesn't look good. And after that, you just play around with the settings, play around with whatever mask you want to work with. I've been working a lot with uh, the masks, uh, the mask settings in Lightroom lately. So you can select the subject. Let's just detect subject. There we go. We have the subject. And I like to just maybe make the subject pop up a little bit more. Uh, because we brighten up the sun, just make the subject a little bit more outstanding in the frame. There you have it, my friends. The secret of achieving the perfect sunset and sunny photo in Lightroom. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to experiment and develop your own unique style and technique. I can't wait to see the incredible shots you're capturing by using this technique. And disclaimer, this is nothing new and nothing I've come up with. I'm just teaching you what I'm doing. But if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, so I can see you in the next video. Happy shooting! Hold on.